morning uh tuesday morning um just got my uh daily coffee uh just going over the um just going over to borrow 501 there to collect the keys because me and john are going to be practicing tonight over there we're gonna have a try and replicate the format of the, of the uk open uh, tonight maybe have two games of that Let's see how that goes because you know, at the uk when you could play you know one game on straight away play again after so it's important to get used to that and sort of try and get match fit for that so yeah, so it's gonna see my old man. Um, we'll introduce you to him later. He's not too camera shy. But uh, yeah, get keys off him for later on. So, might even stream it tonight. Um, if we play well, we might show it. If not, we won't. But uh, yeah, so. Want to show something really? John's, he's having a lion today. He likes to sleep, that boy. But yeah, so he's, um, so yeah, but obviously I'm gonna go over today. Brought me darts with me. Um, just in case I uh, get a chance to have an hour or two over at the bar. Um, see the bars are shut at the moment, getting ready for reopening very soon. Um, but I'll, um, perhaps I'll show you around the bar when I get there. But yeah, so it was a pretty standard day today, really. I'll um, see you in a bit. Hey everyone, uh, coming at you from Staple Hill High Street. Um, obviously, come over to the Staple Hill bar um, to get some keys off my dad for tonight's practice with John. Had a Bit of probably an hour and a half practice then, thrown really well actually. Um, so, yeah, so looking forward to that. Um, it's a strange cut Staple Hill and it being so quiet. Um, it's quite a busty street, really, usually. Um, but yeah, not a lot going on. There's a few shops open. I was going to say that uh, Bristol's quite blessed in the sense that there's loads of suburbs, but all the high streets seem to do really well. Not many shops boarded up or anything. So, uh, yeah, Staple Hill's one of those. I think it's, uh, about half a mile long, the high street, and uh, there's seven pubs on there, they all do quite well. Um, a lot of the locals sort of go from pub to pub. So there's, uh, yeah, I suppose there is a bit of community spirit up here. There's, uh, I haven't been up here for months, but there's, uh, some of the old faces walking up and down the high street. But yeah, so I'll uh, go back now. Almost time for the school run. And Cadet Bo, she can tell me about her day. What a legend she is. But yeah, so, um, and then I'll have a bit of tea and then back over to to um, the bar for practice with John. I think I'm gonna try and stream it. Um, I've got to play with uh, some um, some software that we've got. But, uh, I'll let you know how it goes, but uh, I'll catch up with you in a bit. Cheers. Just on route, uh, on the way to the school run, pick up a little bell. Um, just had some interesting phone calls. Never a dull day, but uh, yeah, no, so nicely. Um, so two exhibitions come in for, for me and John. Be nice to uh, do a few exhibitions. Uh, it's a cool star, uh, my original MC. So yeah, things are opening back up. Good news, I think, for a start player, especially the ones that uh, do the exhibition circuit. I love doing exhibitions and uh, getting out meeting people and having a bit of fun. Yeah, so uh, yeah, so that was good news. Um, also, just I got a thing to our sponsor, Bristol and Bath Scaffolding. Um, so they've, uh, they've confirmed they're going to do another year, which is great. Um, yeah, so just tidying a few things up, really, before the first main event of the season. So yeah, some uh, a positive day so far. Mate? Yeah? What are you saying now? Oh, what? <laughs> oh, it's going to practice in a minute. So. Just, just woke up? No. Just... <laughs> <laughs> it's supposed to get to the camera with me, so that's there. <laughs> well, uh, so good news about Bristol and Bath. You've got the top on already. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Well, sponsor us this year. Obviously, uh, you keep them coming up, so the advertisement, so. Yeah, yeah they'd be good to us at least, to be fair. We've got three years now. Yeah, three years this year. I want to see this year's big spot for them as well. Go see a bit from Pro Tour, so we get a good publicity. Yeah. Um, be good to us, so try and pay them back. Yeah, fair, fair play, buddy. So, um, good practice tonight, then? Yeah, got a bar. Here we are, Ben and Bar 501. John's just dropped us off. John's, uh, a little throw, John. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> uh, yeah, so just uh, trying out a new bit of kit. So, I'm, uh, Decent cameras, he's in Troy Paul. I'm just trying it all out. So, uh, yeah, so uh, see how it goes, but uh, yeah, look forward to having a good practice session. Cheers.
another delivery turned up. Uh, this one's uh, from Sirius Sport. Our, um, our partners for the JDC and for, and for Mad Darts and with bespoke kit and stuff. So, um, yeah, and I'm really pleased with these, the quality. You know, that's why we chose them. It's uh, second to none. So, yeah, have a look. Everyone, it's a quick update. That was Wednesday, the Wednesday before the UK Open. Um, just walking down the post office, posting some uh, some foot cards off. Um, so yeah, just uh, last night obviously had a good practice with JB. He um, both played well, averaging early nineties. Um, shared the spoils. Um, it was one one match each. Um, I think I won the first one. 6-4 and then John on the second one 6 3. But um no yeah, so it's um some decent stuff there, some sort of punishing each other, some a couple of legs of missed doubles and stuff, so just all good practice really. No such thing as bad practice, so no, so we enjoyed that. Um chill out today really. Um waiting on some big mad news. Um so hopefully I can share that with you later. If not certainly uh, hopefully this week. Um, nice little JDC package came today. Was stuff from Sirius Sport. Have my haircut. Thanks, Taylor. Daughter done that for me. That shave. Look a different person. But um, yeah, so uh, we're off again tonight for another practice session. Should be good. Um, feeling a lot more confident than I was last week. And again, I emphasised earlier on when I videoed that you get out what you put in, and you have to go to these things knowing you've put in the graft. Um, you can't leave it to chance. Um, you know, sometimes you might get lucky uh, and have a good day, an inspired day, but the rule of thumb is uh, those days are few and far between. So if you prepare right, then obviously when you're in the trenches or in the clutch of the game, you know, you sort of, uh, you, know, you know subconsciously that you've done enough. You've, you've sort of covered all the bases in practice. So definitely feel better for a lot pr uh, practicing more this week. I feel kind of like my old self again. So that's, uh, that's really positive. So yeah, I mean, not much else to say, really.